This article is so interesting. Pete, listen to this. Somewhere in the world, there is someone who looks just like you. No one is this handsome. Oh, Pete, there's something between your teeth. Mm. Yeah. Is it gone? No, no, it's still there. Just the... There, you got it. But think of it. There could be two of us in the world. Two Annas? <sighs> two Annas? Today, we're reviewing ways to describe and compare people. Keep watching for descriptions of people. Actually, Anna, maybe your silly article is right. Yesterday at work, I met a woman who looks just like you. Really? Wait, are you making fun of me? Not this time. She's tall and has curly hair, but even her face looks like yours. I think she's a career consultant. I bet she has a lot of great advice. I can't wait to meet her. Yes, you can. I met her and she is very difficult. Pete, she's just new. We have to give her a chance. What's her name? Evelina or something like that. You can't miss her. She always wears a hat. So, Anna, have you met the new consultant yet? No, but I've already heard. We look alike, don't we? Yeah, but you don't act alike. You're much nicer than she is. Maybe she gets nervous at new jobs. Or maybe she's shy. Let's not judge, Penelope. She's not nervous or shy. She's me. You know, we should get to know her better. Let's invite her to lunch. Sorry, but I'm busy that day. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, wait, I haven't picked a day yet. So, did you find anything? Here are a few things I found. Anna uses the words look-alike to talk about the new consultant. She says, We look alike, don't we? Penelope uses than and the comparative adjective nicer to compare Anna with the new consultant. She says, You're much nicer than she is. Keep watching for more. This is going to be so much fun. Boy, I can't wait to play this game. How much longer are you going to be? We'll just be a minute. You must be Evelana. I'm Anna. We are look-alikes. No, we're not. And my name is pronounced Evelana. Oh, this is going to be fun. You had better hurry up. I need this room for a lecture. It's called, If You Want to Win, Others Must Lose. What is all this stuff anyway? It's a game. We're going to play at lunch. It's a stupid child's game. <laughs> it's a fun game. But yes, it is for children. Well, you may be childish, but I'm not. And you look stupid with that thing on your head. Oh yeah? Well, you look serious with that look on your face. Come on, Pete. Let's go play somewhere else. Actually, I'm going to stay for Evelana's lecture. Fine. You can learn new ways to beat people. <laughs> he will. <laughs> he will. Okay, am I a food? Nope. Hey, do you guys have room for one more? Sure, Pete. Come on over. What happened to your eye? Evil Anna accidentally hit me. And she didn't even say sorry. She's so mean. <laughs> I told you so. Here, Pete, put on this headband. You'll feel better. Penelope, you're right. Evil Anna is an awful person. And violent. And now we have to work with her. Haven't you heard? She's gone. She was given another assignment. What assignment? I don't know. I think it has something to do with outdoors. Anyway, let's play. Pete, it's your turn. 